Ay, ay, ass getting thicker, lips getting bigger. Uh, tell, tell them to sign me right now. Right now, where my contract at? Y'all heard it. I got bars for days, okay? No, I don't. I'm not. <laughs> Fenty. Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Mimi. Thank you for clicking on this video. And if you're returning, what's going on, girl? So glad you're back. Before we go ahead and hop into this video, please make sure you go ahead and subscribe right now. So I know you wanna see more of your girl on your timeline. Yo, I'm getting back into the groove of things, you guys. So I'm gonna be back to dropping my videos, you know, one or two times a week, you know what I'm saying? So make sure those notifications are on as well. So every single time I upload, you never miss your beat. All right, so the main reason you guys clearly clicked on this video is because Fenty came out with their first ever lip plumping gloss you guys already know i recently started using lip plumping glosses the one i'm addicted to so much is the one by buxom i feel like my lips have been looking so much better and fuller ever since i started using this gloss in today's video i am going to be talking about both of these glosses and we're going to be trying each of these glosses basically i'm going to divide my lip and we're gonna try them out and see which gloss gives you the better results. So I feel like by Fenty getting into the game of, you know, lip plumpers, there's some competition out there because these brands, these lip plumpers are amazing essentially. So first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and open this lip plumper by Fenty. And again, it's called Hot Cherry. This color is supposed to be a universal shade that is for everyone. This is how the Gloss Bomb Heat actually looks. Um, it's a lot more of a softer tone cherry. It's not as vibrant as I thought it was going to be compared to the campaign pig. So the main two ingredients that's going to be used in this lip plumper to give you that instant plumping effect is ginger root oil and pepper. So two of the key ingredients that she put in this product as well to help with moisture retention is shea butter and vitamin E. As you guys can see, there is the product. Oh my God, it smells a little bit peachy there is how the gloss looks you do get a slight tint now in comparison to the collagen plump shot by buxom these are going to have some ingredient differences and they're also going to have some differences in what they're doing besides plumping the lips with the fenty one this solely focuses on plumping only and basically hydration while the buxom plump shop is going to focus on of course plumping it's also going to focus on hydration and anti-aging aspects as well so i did pull up their highlighted ingredients for this so for them they do contain hyaluronic acid in here tripeptides subaki oil and avocado oil now we're gonna go ahead and we are going to try both of these on and we're gonna split my lip into two <laughs> that sounds so weird split my lip into two so um let me go ahead and zoom uh, uh, i didn't zoom y'all in a little bit too much zoom out just a little bit i'm gonna start right at my cupid's bow so i can get a nice even distribution of product I'm not feeling any tingling sensation just yet. So I'm gonna give it a minute and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do our buxom plump shot. Oh, I'm starting to feel something. I feel something tingling. I feel something. I definitely feel like the Fenty is starting to work yeah i see it it's starting to fill in as far as with the fenty one it's like a stinging tingling sensation but this one the block the buxom plump shot is slightly more intense as far as 
what you feel when you put it on. If you're asking me, I feel like the Buxom, my lip looks slightly more plumper than my Fenty one. Like I feel like my upper lip on here is slightly more raised and filled in compared to the Fenty one. If you made it to this point, go ahead and comment below. Which one do you feel like right now looks more plumper? The more I let them sit, the more plump this side tends to get, you know? So here you go. All right, guys, so I've let this lip plumper sit on my lips for about an additional minute and a half, two minutes. And honestly, I feel like the Buxom is plumping slightly more than the Fenty. Um, my top lip here, it looks a little bit more fuller than the Fenty side. The tingling sensation with the Fenty has just about calmed down while I still feel the Buxom. So the, bunks, the Buxom actually plumps a lot longer than the Fenty one. The Fenty one's not even, like I don't feel anything on this side at this point. Like it's completely like done plumping. And one thing I did notice about this Luminizer as well as far as the differences between them, the lines on my lips are a lot more filled in than the lines on my lips on this side. Okay you guys, so I'm just gonna go ahead and give you guys my final thoughts on this new Fenty Heat Hot Cherry Lip Plumper. When it comes down to just saying like outright if it works or not, it does it works it fills in the lines it smooths the lips so my lips feel hydrated they don't feel sticky like everything that Fenty's lip luminizers already give me I still feel the same way as far as the tingling sensation is it as intense as the buxom no I feel like the Fenty heat hot cherry lip plumper is a lot more on the mild side I do really love the fact that the tint is so soft like it gives me literally like that pouty lip so if you guys enjoyed today's video please make sure you go ahead and thumbs up if you haven't already and please make sure you go ahead and subscribe let me know what you guys think about these two lip plumpers are you gonna stick to your buxom or are you gonna give this Fenty a shot when it come down to it I'm still rocking with Fenty but buxom y'all just etched them out just a little bit you know what I'm saying <laughs>